a little bit nervous. Well, well morning everyone. Today my topics were focused on the blank signs in traditional Japanese cultures. And I will talk about some ideas and examples including to semiotics of the world. Well, first of all, I would like to ask uh, you guys a, a sort of a questions. How do you guys consider of the concept of the void? Could anyone give me some expressions about the um, these terms? Could anybody have um, an expression? Blankness. Okay. Yes. Negative space. Space. Negative space. Well, um, form. Well, if we. If we just look, in, uh, look up to a dictionary, then we will find. Uh, oh, sorry. Then we will find that in the dictionary that that just didn't have two kind of uh, explanation to this of to this world. The first one is a large empty space means that that you have shares of a very empty space, and the second one is completely lacking something. That means not a space, but a void with nothing. And the short one is just as simply nothing or empty as a noun. Well, well, from the ancient identity of the void, and to toward this one, we can say first, void is one of the very important, a very important concept in Chinese traditions, Taoisms. As all of you know, in Taoism, there has a very, um, there has a very core concept called Wu, and in Japanese, it's called Mu, and that means linked to, linked with the world, with the concept of the void. And also in Buddhism, that also has one of the concepts of linking it with linking it with the void, and this word this word has another uh, character that linked to this concept called kong or nothing means nothing, and also one of the uh, one of the core concept in Buddhism. However, as uh, as all we knows. As we always know, when when Buddhism has been transmitted from India to China, there has originated a new kind of a, a, a new kind of a, a sort of sort of a, a religious a religious field in Buddhism called Zen. Zen. And since then, then since Chinese Zen has been transmitted and flourished in Japan, it has been it has been infiltrated in every or in many many folds in the life in in traditional Japanese lives. And even you can find them not only not not only when you are when you are when you are in the environment of your life, but also in some designer products when you buy something, you can also find the trace of it. So the the pictures in the left hand is a piece of work made is a piece of work made with enso that means a circle circle a picture of a circle painted by a Japanese Zen master and um, Togami Meido and this picture we can see that it's just a, like a circle and the the central part has nothing but this nothing means Many many things. You know, it could it could be refers to the universe. It could could refers to the life of people, and it could also be like with the expressions of our own life experiences. And now here are some very um, very key concept of the dance. From the central one is Zen, one of the characters in 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 a Chinese characters, and. Uh, the the one above is mu is nothing also means void. The uh, upper one is kong. Yeah, is kong. The the left one and the right one also means people's realizations. And the background picture is very interesting. You know, uh, the back that is one of the pairs of winners inside the Zen temple called. Uh, Gangguan were located in Kyoto. You know that that was very that was a very famous uh, famous traveling spot when you when you travel and get a traveling to Kyoto. And the the window and the left are round. Well, whether while 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 as the the right one is squares. You know, Japanese people believe that when you see through these two shapes, these two shapes of windows, you can see through our lives and see through the universe. Even you can get a meditations when you're sitting silently in that gardens, just to gazing at these two pairs of windows. Well, let's just talk about the blank signs. 
in from semiotics or from the process of semiotics, you know, how um, science could get meanings or convey meaning to us. First, firstly, we need to deliver. Who the deliver? Who want to talk something to you guys? And he just um, encoding need to be encoding the message into a text, and the text would convey some meanings. So how? So this at this time we need a receiver. We need a receiver to encoding to encoding the meaning out of the text. Just so like um, you just got a log on a box, and the re, the deliver just to put something. The deliver just to put something into the box, and there has many meanings in the box. And then we need a receiver. Oh, oh, sorry. And and then we need. We, we need a receiver to lock this all in this mini out of this box to understand something. Well, however, there has another condition that they can't understand what you're saying about. So you cannot see through the boxes, and you can't get the you can't get not grasp mini out, right? And from the signs, we we can see there has a signifier and a signified, uh, which infer to the denotation and connotation of the two parts in the in the uh, in the process of the sign, which has been operated in the process of meanings. And this one um, from the left to the right are the whole process in in a process of a semiosis. Well, I would like to introduce these two kind of uh, blank sciences that here has worked. Well, type A is from the semiotics point of view. As all we know, in semiotics, there has a semi semi so signifier and signify, just like semi signifier and signifiant. These two kind of semiotic. And this one um, in in the first one, type A, we just acquired from uh, type A, right? Um, from below. From the first one, first type, um, from the church, first time, the signifier may be the, the signifier may be blank in blank signs. That means um, uh, that means what you use to convey the meaning is blank. Just uh, for example, just like the interruption or the blank. Uh, a blank paper, a blank paper, right? You know, a blank paper without a world, even without a world, but it can originate in some meanings. And um, just so, like, uh, for example, in the visual one, but for for the audio, you know, you can you know, hear something. When you can hear something, there has interruption. Just so like, um, you know, when you when you play your music, you just play nothing, just with the silence. But it's also a kind of expression of music. So uh, I'll give you guys some of examples about type A. Well, the first, the very typical, typical uh, examples of blank signs of type A is uh, white space. As you know, it, it, as you know, there has a, a kind of skill that used in traditional Chinese painting called liu bai, just to live, uh, just to live a uh, white space, uh, white empty spaces. So in Chinese tradi in traditional traditional paintings, the, that that was very um, that we, we can usually say that we use this kind of empty spaces to um, you know to to help you to get larger into more and more more more, more valley spaces and meanings. So people uh, through 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 getting to this through getting to those pictures, we can see that how Chinese traditional or Asian Chinese painters could live as uh, abundant meanings through this way through this kind of skills in paintings. And that, next, I will give will give you uh, one of the music examples, uh, in uh, compared with that one above. First, we can see that the pose that used it makes uh, interruption used in the in the music, and there is a very typical and interesting examples of uh, John Cage and his and his traditional four four minutes and thirty three seconds, as as we know. John Cage just is sitting, beside, sitting in front of the piano and sitting there, and he just um, without any action, just sit there with silence. And when the audience get confused about what is going on, why, why the our artist don't play any any notes, and he just is sitting there, sitting there when when the time fluid has been passing away for four minutes and thirty-three seconds, and he said, well. 
everyone, my composer, uh, my, my music, my music is already complete. <laughs> sorry, my, my music has already come complete. So that, that is a very typical kind of example that could demonstrate it, that there has a kind of a silent signs that uh, referring to a blank signs that can convey to us a kind of a new kind of a music that without even any of a vo even without any voice or note. Well, however, the sound and the environment or the performance or the, even the facial, you know, facial expressions that are uh, presented by the artist can also be one part of the music. So even without, an, even without any note, you can also convey in, or you can also in decoding a meaning out of his playing or performance. Well, now I will give my, personal, my, my own personal deduction about type B. Um, in my point of view, I consider that there existed another kind of blank signs which are um, very, which are on the contrary, uh, uh, different, very different from the former one. As we know, the former one uh, generally signifies for as uh, the signi we, we need uh, use a signi for a blank signi for to convey in some meanings, some re uh, some very uh, rebana meaning. But in the type B, we need we we may see through a very uh, you know how to say it. Um, uh, some, some, you know, some object or some form that you can see, you can directly see it. it's not blank. It do have something really existed there, but it really uh, differ out or deviate, uh, get a deviation out of its forms. You know, the meaning there is not directly linked to the linguistic, the words or the terms that it, it directly refers to. It has already get out of its forms and just uh, referring to another new meaning just means bold. That means, um, that means it has very, you know, a world, for example, you know, a world has uh, referring to um, referring to a meaning that all, all of our common senses would go to get help, but uh, sometimes when this meaning disappeared, and you're just dropping it into a blank of spaces, and what we and what you will get next. So here, I would like to give you some um, ex expressions, as well uh, as all we know. Rosen Brothers was very famous and the auditions that has um, many, many works that are relating to and the are relating to semiotics and other cultural and cultural um, great creativities and structuralisms. And he also make uh, great contributions into the social value and, and their apologies. During his, as uh, you know, I would like to tell you guys, he was once uh, one of the, he was one, one of the members of the ambassadors that traveling, take a travel to Japan, and he, just, he also take a travel around Japan. In his book, in a journey he lived in Japan, he just write a book, um, maybe that was a collection of essays called Empire Signs, where it was, was, was written from 1966 to 1968. In this book, he just um, raised it or um, raised a concept called Vode that the Japanese, cult, that, that there was a typical, typical, you know, typical trait of Japanese culture. Well, now we have some embodiment of blank signs in traditional Japanese culture. The first fold I would like to focus on the rituals, etiquettes, clean celebrations, and behavior manners, which was very important um, in, in, in daily lives. Now we can see the video has two pictures that uh, kind of a typical kind of formal Japanese uh, way of bowing. As we know, in the way of bowing, there has many different forms of bowing. The former one, lesser one, and um, it has different kind of representations into it. So we, we the bowing, people are just bowing to you without a word, with a silent, I mean, with a blank with a blank, and then you could feel, or you could, um, you could receive in the regret from the one who bowing to you, well, even without a word, just with a blank, uh, just with action, just a bowing, just a bowing to you. And there has another typical examples where the blank signs are used, are, are broadly used in traditional Japanese culture, the tea ceremony that calls cha dao or sadu, right? Um, well, 
the tea ceremony is a quite of a place or a cell or, or a reacher that we are full of a space of a silence. People sometimes people will not even even talk a word just with the sequence of actions or just the form it to or just link it to the reachers, which that um, they should to complete uh, they should accomplish. And just like oh sorry, and just like what what brother and father has been asserted, the form is empty, so it can keep it better still with the blank spaces and the blank voices that you can even originate in many minutes. Well, here are some more um, some some examples of the folding spaces, and I just call it. I would like to call it as a kind of a transformation of spaces. As all we know, the fan was originated in China. In ancient China, people used a fan to send in to send in wind to us, and a fan was uh, and the original fan was round. As we know, the shape was round. But when Japanese people has has been Reproducing it and making it into a folding sense, folding fan, and the fan could be taken with you more convenience, you know, that, and for more convenience. And this this kind of uh, folding fans were also a kind of a symbol of battery to serve the existence of. Uh, uh, and this this kind of a folding fan, however, can also use it as a kind of a size to, in you know, referring to a battery. Uh, between you and the gas, or between you and the others, uh, for example, just like this. If you hold in a fan and uh, you just put it in front of you, and here this fan would may referring to a boundary. You know, boundary means that uh, the the distance between you and the gas. That was a kind of the part of the reachers, the kind of a reachers. Well. And another one is the gift or the wrapping. You know, Japanese favorite uh, loves to wrap in wrapping objects, and their wrap and their wrappings are also very delicate. For, as Bob Bob asserted that the gift is a lot, just to to some extent, it, um, the content inside the package is the last more important than. The form that is outside. So that means sometimes you may feel you you may receive a very、uh, beautiful and delicate packages or wrappings that from the that that sent from them. But maybe you will find that inside it there are nothing in it. I mean, the form itself is a meaning, but not instead of the really、uh, instead of the object which are really put it into it. And here. The left side, the middle one, and the right one are also pictures of a kind of a box, a boxes that boxes that used it in in Japan. That called a、uh, jibako. That means there has some many many layers, many many layers of、uh, boxes that can combine it together to into put it,、um, use it into putting something into it, just like desert or something else. But When it just、um, putting the one without anything inside, it can also refer into a kind of meaning, just like、um, the cultural meaning or something else, or the ritual meaning. Well, the third one I would like to talk about is semiotic character and si- sexual identity physical signs. As、um, as you know, Miss Paul has talked before that marketing is、uh, in gender in in gender is quite an interesting issue. So here I would like to to talk about some kind of character that played the performance by men only. You know, just like a female character、uh, performed by men only. And here we can see.、Uh, A、uh, typical form. Here you can see a typical form played、uh, that that can,、uh, which can, which can which can represent this kind of a blank signs.、Um, right, the picture in the left is a、uh, is a female role played by men in Peking Opera, and the right one is a、uh, is a role also pe- played by a man, by a man. That、um, by a man, but it's a female role in a in a traditional Japanese opera, and to,、uh, we, we we will find that very interesting. That from the left to the side, there is a、uh, same or、uh, identical point indicating to、uh, indicating in, in, indicating to、um, you know indicating to the right one, the the, the left one and right one, just 
uh, indicated to to a kind of you know semi audience character. I mean, not a real character. The real character is a, a a woman, you know, a woman standing in front of you. But when that was played by someone, that may be some collection, or that may be a kind of combination of concept. Of concept towards a woman, not real woman. A concept, a kind of a、uh, woman's,、um, just a kind of typical forms. And there has another examples about it, just like the Japanese doors and the mask that was used in Japanese traditional、uh, drama called no no. No, and this the, the mask used in traditional Japanese dramas is also a kind of a symbol that can instead of people's expressions. That means、uh, a mask may have no expressions at all, but when you put it on your face and just to get the performance on the stage, and here the the mask with no expressions may even play to any. Kind of explanations that refer to the audience who would like to you know, decoding the meaning out of the text that has presented to us. Well, the last kind of、um, the last kind I would like to talk about transformation meaning spaces in traditional Japanese architecture. And Japanese art demands you to very get familiar with your own features and your own concept, so you can. Um, if you can understand what the what, what the concept the hidden deeply below the culture structures, then without a world, without a pictures, when you're stepping into an empty space, you can understand what the spaces would like to provide you. Even when you, if you are living or、uh, even if you are living in this space, empty space. Okay, sorry. Well. There is another typical,、uh, typical sign, typical blank signs that、um, used in or operated in traditional Japanese gardens called, oh, sorry, called,、um, called kalesansui. It means that、um, the gardens that used to referring to、uh, an ocean or some islands in、uh, about some islands、um, that surrounded by the ocean, surround sur that surrounded by the oceans. Uh, is not the real, is not the real,、uh, you know, in real scenery. That means without any drop of water, you can also infer into an ocean with just with just some sands, you know, sands in a very、uh, in a form and in, a, in kind of a in a kind of a form. So during the journey, you gazing to the gardens and are just a kind of as I talk about Kalesansui, that kind of gardens. You can feel that this is、um, large,、uh, large spaces of empty that used to、uh, connecting with the conception of the cosmos or something else, some life experiences, some life experiences, and other two. And in order to give you a sort of a hint of,、um, that is related to the Buddhisms, well, here I would like to、um, give you guys some of example that I used in the application of blank signs and the modern designs. Here, the picture on the right is a set of flash works based on the themes of Chinese character. You may make a when you when a when a silent character, Chinese character, becomes and taken in the form of 3D. As you know, became in the form of 3D. We can see that、um, during these pictures, we could we we could see we could see that from the space and from the silence from silent from from the silence、uh, sign that you can take into account that would be. Um, that would be more, you know,、uh, more powerful to to, to convey meanings and instead of a silent one. And well, and here are also some other product designs that、um, can represent the、uh, applications of the blank signs in product designs, just like the transparent vase and a transparent closet. You can see, you can, you can like that. The, the 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 vase itself was transparent. You can see through from its outside, and it shares a and transparent fold. It can you know tra transfer in folding or forms, to in order to convey some meanings or come concept from designer or behind deeply behind its culture. 
Well, there is another, there is a, there is a building, really building, very interesting building in China, where it was located in, in Anhui province in China. And we could see that the building is, the whole building is transparent. We can see through from the buildings. When people walk in it or, or walking inside it, the, the building, the wall of the building is wholly transparent. That means the things where should be there is disappeared. The war should be there, right? When a, when a building is, um, when the uh, common building, when, when a kind of a common building should be there, and if, if what the wars are just disappeared, the things who, that should be there is disappeared, then how would we get from a transparent, transparent shears? The, and uh, however, that's also one of the that's also one of the blank signs. And here, in the in order to conclusion, I got some uh, I got some questions for you guys. Do you consider that um, nothing can generate anything? I I I'm, I know that it was a quite weird questions, but um, in Buddhism and to in Taoism, the key concept could be could be means that. When, uh, when the blank that, uh, when, when the sign that look at, at just seems as a blanks may sometimes convey many meanings, but the meanings are hided by the re de delivers. So the receiver should be taken or grasp the meaning out of the text in your own, uh, in your own knowledge or in your own, own, own understandings that deeply hide it by the cultural views or something else. Well, the second part, second question is, blank signs is a potential science. Potential signs mean that our signs uh, have been not yet been decoding out of uh, a text, you know, has been not understood by a person. That means there is something has a potential to be to become a kind of a science, but it have uh, have already not yet been understood by people. So the, in these conditions, we just call it a potential science that can give us meaning, but we have not a dispute. There has a word means that you see, but not observe. That means you see things, but you, can, but you, haven't, you haven't dropped the meaning yet. That this, uh, on these conditions, the object to you is just a kind of a potential science. Like the last time, is zero sign of meanings. And um, here we could get a creative thinking about uh, the Amazon. If there exists a kind of meaning point, a, 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 a kind of a meaning field um, uh, that originated from zero, just like computer just originated from zero and one. To, um, so, and this time we will find very interesting that zero and one share the same shapes. And these shapes share the circle, share the blank circle inside it. So uh, we can we can just get originated from. We we can just keep keep thinking on about how it could bring us to uh, a lot of abundant meanings, in according to this kind of zones or some sort of a blank size. And we also can use it as a kind of applications in the product designs. Use a more uh, you know, a more transparent or more blank designs is, right, a little bit nervous. <laughs> That's a lot. A little bit nervous.